And joining us now is Julie Baker Fink, president and CEO of the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation. Welcome back to Houston Life, friend. It's great to Thank see you. Thank you so much. It's so great to be here and be with you. Thank you so much for shining the light on literacy. Well, it's critical. This is one of those things that just doesn't go away, right? I mean, the need for literacy now in our communities for our young people is so critical. Remind our viewers of your mission. Our mission is to improve lives through the power of reading. And so we really work within the community with all of the nonprofit partners and with school districts to help more children get on track uh, and be, become proficient readers by the end of the third grade. And we most recently partnered with Mayor Turner's um, Office of Adult Literacy and created an adult literacy blueprint. So we know that really tackling both the number of low literate adults who are in our community and the number of children who aren't reading on grade level by the end of the third grade, we must seek two generational approaches to really break that intergenerational cycle. And there are so many great things going on and, and you know we love to read with our boys at home. I'm an avid reader. I just think that there's something special about picking up a book whether it's with a family or just by yourself and that's really where the ladies of literacy where this gr group comes in because it's taking a passion and really you, this passion can be learned. My boys had to learn to love to read and so that's what I think they need to see us reading. We have to be role models, and this group of women, it is, they are so dynamic, they're passionate about our community, they care about children, and they are lifelong literacy lovers themselves. And so they formed um, as a volunteer auxiliary group seven years ago for the foundation, and they have grown to be a force of over 400 women. And they go out in the community and volunteer and read with kids, they've adopted um, schools that they um, enriched their lives, have done some things with programming at the schools, they've invested in um, building libraries in some of our uh, underserved areas and some of the community-based providers. And they have some innovative initiatives that I think we'll talk about in just a minute. But they're a fantastic, fabulous group of women. And it just goes to show the power of volunteerism mm -hmm. and service to others. And that goes back to President Bush's. And of course, Mrs. Bush was an exemplar, a point of light in our community for what it means and, and how we as individuals can really make a difference, even just one of us. But just think about 400 people when they come together. It's like, get out of their way. They're, yeah. they're awesome. Well, and we know that Mrs. Bush would be so proud of her legacy, the fact that you are carrying it on so well. And you just explained a little bit about how the money is used, the money that's raised. This Friday, actually, the Ladies for Literacy Guild 6th Annual Power of Literacy Luncheon featuring our very own Keith Garvin, Dominique Saxa, and, of course, Kathy Lee Gifford. Uh, that is what this luncheon really is all about, to raise money to support these critical programs. Yes, and the Ladies for Literacy Guild, while they have this amazing event and have raised over $2 million since they have started this um, effort, um, they have invested these dollars in programs that the foundation operates, but I tell you, these are some high-flying um, and innovative women. And so one of the initiatives, you'll see the photo on the screen, so these ladies came up with the thought, they saw a need in our community that a lot of the public schools don't have functioning and up-to-date school libraries. Wow. And, and that they don't have uh, trained librarians. And so they saw this need out in the community and said, hey, we need to be taking, you know, and they had this, this inspiration, this vision of their own childhood, much like Courtney was talking about reflecting on her child and, and the relationships that she has with her kids. They said, you know what, we need to create a bookmobile. Well, this is a, a, this is a super mo mobile library on wheels and they're called the Curiosity Cruiser. And we partner with the Harris County Public Library and so, the funds from the um, Power of Literacy luncheon have funded three, so we have a fleet. We call it officially a fleet now when you have three of them. And so you can see they're upfitted. We have a um, lending library, and a, a library that kids can actually go on and pick a book and take it home and keep it to build their own home library. And then through our partnership with Harris County Public Library, their team actually goes out into communities and provides 10 to 14 weeks every week 90 minutes STEM and reading programs. And we know the pandemic has had such devastating effect, probably not, probably 
as great as when we had World War II, and the impact on education and the social emotional well-being and the academic well-being, we know we are going to need to do more for kids well beyond the school walls and the school day. And by taking these programs out into the community, right in their apartment complexes or their housing authority communities or in community-based centers, that's when we're really going to start to start to close that gap on weekends, after-school programs, and of course, the great work that teachers do each and every day. It really is incredible. Julie Baker Fink, we got to leave it there. We're tight on time, but thank you so much for your continued work in our community. Thank you both so much. It is great to see you. And for more information on how you can help the Ladies for Literacy Guild and, of course, the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. And coming up, from supporting the mission of the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation to her new book, we're catching up with TV legend and former Today host, Kathy Lee Gifford. Stay there she right is. There she looks great. Houston Life will be right back. Thank you.